Star Herald. A rather ring announcer. Lou Tabbitt and Joe Swessel. The referee boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing in the blue corner, originally from Jacksonville, Illinois, now fighting out of Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WBC Heavyweight Champion, Ken Norton. The challenger, weighing in at 209 pounds, hailing from Easton, Pennsylvania, the Easton assassin, Larry Holmes. 15 pounds of boxing. Our entire worldwide connection is complete, so I'll tell you one more time. This is coming to you live from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Don King Productions presents the heavyweight championship of the world. Ken Norton, the champion, the challenger, Larry Holmes. The fight of bad blood, again under the direction of the Nevada State Boxing Commission and the WBC, Jose Suleiman, president. We're all set to go. My name is Bob Sheridan. It's been a hot day here in Las Vegas, Nevada, but we're indoors in the sports pavilion here at Caesars Palace. A lot of championship fights held here. Don King has really done a job putting this one together. Kenny Norton has really had a week, a tough week for him. The week started out, everybody thought that uh, Norton was going to be heavily favored in this fight. The betting odds, as we mentioned, still show it that way. But Larry Holmes, suddenly, there's Larry, a look of confidence, a look of determination. The fight, they call it the fight of bad blood. And if you look in the eyes of that Larry Holmes there, you can see exactly that there's no joking here. It hasn't been the type of buildup that has been commonplace at Muhammad Ali fights. This is a serious situation. We understand that Larry Holmes was working out. Ken Norton walked in, and they got in sort of a shoving match. We're back on Tuesday, and it wasn't the Ali type of uh, hype for the fight. This fight didn't need any hype. In the past, uh, well, let's say going back to the thriller in Manila, Joe, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali, this is probably the best legitimate heavyweight championship fight. Of course, we uh, wouldn't take anything away from the Sphinx Ali fight, but look at the determination in the eyes. Norton looking down, not looking into the face of Holmes. Holmes trying to taunt him. We're all set. It's ready to go. The most pure form of sports, the heavyweight championship of the world, is just about to get underway. Third man in the ring. The referee will beat Miles Lane. It's a 22-foot ring. They're wearing eight-ounce championship gloves. The scoring will be done by three judges. It's the 10-point must system. The three knockdown rule is waived. The bell is sound. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Ken Norton to the right of your screen. Larry Holmes to the left. Norton scores the first blow. Now remember, the fighting styles. Norton is usually the type of guy that does a lot of catching, dragging his foot when he moves in. The other fellow, Larry Holmes, with a 27 0 19 knockout record, handled by Richie Giacchetti, has lightning hands, and I mean lightning hands. He's being considered one of the finest boxers in all of boxing, but his back to you is Norton, out of the left of the screen, to the right of the screen, and the light trunks. Larry Holmes, lightning left hands. He can count a punch while moving away. We're in round one, it's just underway. As you know, the world title at stake. Pretty good pace for round one. We expected the fighters to feel each other out a little bit more, but these guys do not like each other. Larry Holmes has a scowl on his face, and Ken Norton has a look of determination. Both fellas, finely tuned, finely conditioned athletes. Beautiful looking physiques of both of these men. A lightning left catches Norton on the top of the head. No damage done. Larry Holmes is actually a bit taller. Maybe by a half an inch, maybe as much as an inch. There's Norton and Holmes showing exactly who's who there. Pony on the side of the trunks of Kenny Norton. Norton, the ex-Marine. Had his shot at winning the title for Muhammad Ali. Couldn't do it. Very disputed. Very disputed match against Jimmy Young. But right now, he's going to have his hands full with Larry Holmes. WBC ruled that he would be champ, and champ he is. Richie Giacchetti, the man that trains Larry Holmes, told me he'd stay away, try and box away from him, not get tied up in the ropes, wear Norton down, which is a tough uh, road to hold. Norton has had the experience of going 15 tough rounds with Muhammad Ali on a couple of different occasions. People from the camp of Kenny Norton say he's in the best physical shape ever. Very strong left hand cut, Holmes in the chest, Larry doing what he wants to do, staying outside, coming in, hit and doesn't get hit. Excellent at slipping punches. There's the lightning left hand. His right hand is just as quick. 
causes Norton to miss. Norton trying to cut him off in the corners now. Norton is pretty good moving to his right, but he's not so good moving to his left, which will cause him trouble with the left hand before this fight is over. Larry Holmes' record is unblemished. There he shows he has no fear of Holmes. And Norton uh, shows he has no fear either as he comes in. Getting covered up pretty good in that right hand thrown by Larry. Larry scores a right, good right hand there, taking him to the cheek. Larry has great confidence in the eyes. Feels he can win. In his own heart and mind knows he can win. He's got better footwork. Good right hand. Just as by the nose of Kenny Norton. No damage done there. Okay, a pretty exciting round one, a better round one than we thought we have. An even round one. Now we get a chance to show you Ken Norton. We'll tell you a little bit about him. He's considered a good boxer. He's got a good left jab, which we said he doesn't use enough. Round one was an example of that. Watch the exchange we have coming up while we wait for round number two. Holmes to the left of your screen. Okay, nothing there at all. Nothing there so far. And again, good positioning by Kenny Norton there. No damage done there. Bang, a good shot there. Probably the best shot of the fight, the first real good right hand that Larry Holmes threw. Good left hook that time. So, a confidence building round for Larry Holmes as we look at Kenny Norton. If there was a weakness, I'd say that it would be that Kenny Norton can be hit by uppercuts in close, and he has poor mobility to his left, which leaves him vulnerable for the left hook. Round two, scheduled for 15. Norton takes the first shot in round two off the left hand. Larry Holmes. Freddie Brown in the corner of Larry Holmes, one of the great trainers at Bill Prevent. Kitty, the man that's out in front all the time. And they have the lawyer, Charles Speziani. The other corner, it's Bob Byron, Bill Slayton. Bill Slayton, 1977 trainer of the year, Kenny Norton. Norton to the right, Holmes with his back to you now, now to the right of the screen. You can see the hand speed, the tremendous hand speed of Larry Holmes. question mark we might have in this one just how good a shot does Larry Holmes take he can take a punch but right now he's giving them out Kenny Norton doesn't have the quick movement and ability to slip punches that Larry Holmes has Holmes is scoring punches at will here in round two notice how he stays outside the punching area of Norton both of these fellas extremely strong Larry Holmes 11 pounds lighter at 209 his reach is an inch shorter, 79 is Holmes, 80 is Kenny Norton. The age difference we mentioned. A million dollars goes to Holmes for this one, two million for the champion. That's what I told you about the uppercut. Look for that uppercut because Holmes, uh, rather Norton, the way he leans over. See the way he leans his body, leans his body. Watch for Holmes to score the uppercut. Right now, Larry Holmes is taking the fight to Ken Norton. An excellent round for Larry Holmes. He's really building up punches here. Larry's hand speed. Good left hook to the side of the head. Best shot of the fight so far. Larry Holmes showing how he can double up with that left hand. See the way Norton bends his body over? He's very vulnerable for an uppercut. And if he continues to do it, Holmes will pick it up and nail him. Larry Holmes looks like he's really taking command. It's only round two. It's early to say, but he scores a good right hand from the head of Ken Norton. Larry Holmes, an excellent fighter. Kenny Norton is as well. But the hand speed, and there's the uppercut. Scores. The hand speed is the story here, as Norton is like looping, hooking shots for the, trying to get to the head of Holmes. So far, he hasn't touched him. Holmes counter-punching excellently. I think Ken Norton just realized now at the end of round number two, no question that that round goes to Larry Holmes. Round one very even. We go to the corner now, as you look to the corner there, of Larry Holmes standing. 
We'll tell you a little bit more about the stronger points of Ken Norton. He has staying power. Remember I told you about the uppercut that Larry Holmes would find it with that way that Norton moves his body over. Watch this shot coming up that we have for you. Bam! Didn't catch him really hard. He caught him just a little bit to the side of the ear. But if Norton continues to bend over like that, he's going to get himself in trouble. There's Larry Holmes. Pride of Eastern Pennsylvania. They call him the Eastern Assassin. Why wouldn't they? 27 and 0. 19 knockouts. Relatively few, but he's an educated fighter with educated hands, educated feet, and hundreds of rounds against Joe Frazier and Ali and Sparring. Ken Norton's people must have told him he's got to pick it up and try to take the man in this round, but Holmes will have no part of it. Round three. The World Heavyweight Championship at stake. As Holmes continues to beat. Kenny Norton to the punch at Willie's hitting. This is the way a young Ali used to score punches. So far, Kenny Norton hasn't scored anything. When I say anything, I'm talking about real heavy blows. Larry Holmes has. Notice how Larry stays just outside the reach, just outside the punching area of Kenny Norton, so he's not hit by that. And when Norton takes those wild left hooks at him, he follows up with a crisp left hand that's a shot right in the face of Ken Norton. Larry Holmes looking great so far. Controlling the fight at this point. A surprise. I didn't think he'd do it this early. Kenny Norton is not getting his punches off first. But Norton is strong. He's a man that could take a guy out with one punch. Lord knows he's done it 32 times. Another good shot. There's the uppercut. Larry Holmes is building confidence now. He had tremendous confidence when I spoke to him yesterday, but none, <laughs> no confidence like he's showing in the ring right now. But that looping right hand again. Larry just slipped away from it. No damage done by that at all. Holmes has actually got Norton confused. Norton's timing doesn't look sharp. Holmes is a real alert look in his eye. And his lightning left hand is in the face, and in the head, and around the face of Norton all the time. But he misses him out, it's keeping Norton away. And Norton's only hope then is a long looping right or left hand, which is not doing the job with a lightning quick torso of Holmes. Watch the quickness of the left hand of Holmes. When Norton throws his left, Holmes is hit before Norton does. Now there's two or three punches that just landed. Larry will have to change his style right at this moment now and start circling to the left, causing the problems for her. Hooks to the body. Now Norton looks a little bit better in this last about 10 or 15 seconds, but Larry's keeping him up. He wasn't hit by anything heavy. Kenny Norton, the betting favorite. Heavy punch, but again, that looping right hand, and immediately the right hand of Larry Holmes get in there to tag him. Kenny looking a little bit better right now, but he's not scoring. Larry's staying just outside, and when the punches do get in there, he flicks his head to the left and causes Norton to miss. This frustrates the fighter. Norton's a great competitor. He's relentless. He continues to come on. Holmes, one of the great men for punching back peddling. Very few could do it. Ali, of course, the master at hitting moving back. Funny. People like that could do it with exceptional legs. That tells you again where we are, the pavilion at Caesar's Palace. A more even round. We go to the corner of Larry Holmes. I mentioned he's considered the finest boxer in the heavyweight division with his hand and foot speed, and I think for the first time, people around the world know who Larry Holmes is now. His best punch, of course, as you saw the left jab. He sets up combinations off that left. Now we're over to Kenny Norton's corner again. Kenny does not have that real great authoritative look in his eye that he had when the fight started. I wonder if he's been psyched. I don't know. Ken Norton's a gentleman. He's a competitive athlete. Great high school athlete. He's been a great athlete his entire career. He's determined. He's got everything he wants. It's coming down to a question of ability. And we're going to find out before it's all over just who has the most. A very even fight to this point. Holmes slightly out in front. 
round four, scheduled for 15, as all world title fights are. While Norton may look taller, Holmes is actually an inch taller, about a half an inch to three quarters anyway. Kenny Norton, 15 pounds, 11 pounds, actually heavier, at least at the weigh-in. What they are today, who knows? The weigh-in yesterday, they kept the fighters apart to avoid another confrontation like they had earlier in the week. They don't like each other. There's no doubt about that. Richie Giacchetti, the fellow that handles Larry Holmes, told me he wanted him to stay away early, but he'd, he'd allow Norton to take the fight to him, but he wanted Larry to control it. And he's done exactly that. So if you go by the fight plan, a good left hook that time scored by Kenny Norton. Larry's showing getting out three and four punches while Kenny gets out one or two. That takes his total over the fight. See what I mean about Larry Holmes setting up with the left hand, the left jab, left jab, he'll hook to the body and then he'll drop the right hand. Watch him now. See that lightning left, it comes from the hip, a la Ali. He boxed with Ali, tremendous amount. Norton's gone about some 40 rounds with him, but Larry Holmes has the experience of going over a couple of hundred rounds with Muhammad Ali. Holmes has been known to talk to an opponent occasionally, but it's frustrating for Holmes now, uh, rather for Norton now, because Holmes is staying away from those punches. Kenny's not scoring at all. Kenny's best round was the last round, and at that it was still an even round. Larry Holmes is definitely beating him to the punch and scoring more punches. Pushing away a lot of punches with a lightning right hand. You see when Kenny comes in with the left hand, Larry pushes it away. Larry scores it. Oh, oh good right hand. Spins the head of Norton. Another shot to the side of the head of Norton. Another one. Kenny goes downstairs to the body on that one. Kenny not visibly shaken. Holmes working to the head of Norton. The speed of the hands and the speed of the legs. But so far, Larry Holmes hasn't used his legs to his advantage which he's famous for, it's all been his hand speed that's beating Norton to the punch. Larry, for the first time, looking like he's huffing and puffing, takes a light left, and the, the right hand misses, ducks underneath it. But the alertness is in the eyes of Holmes. See a good shot of Norton looking for his shot, too. See the head spin quickly, the alertness and the quickness of Holmes, good combination there to the head. So Richie Giacchetti, again, the manager, the handles Holmes, wanting to put combinations together. Kenny trying to muscle in, scores to the body, all right. Good, tough fourth round is complete. So we go to the corner now between round four and five of Kenny Norton. We'll talk a little bit more about him. Some of the things you may or may not know, he was presented the WBC heavyweight belt March 29th based on a 15 round decision over Jimmy Young back in November right here at Caesars Palace. He's intelligent, he's cool. We talked about his great competitiveness, the fact that he won 10 letters. But right now, let's show you how Larry scores a few punches here. Inside. Nothing too serious there. Watch the right hand now, watch the right hand. And a measuring, bang, over the left, over the left. Not a damaging blow, but those over a period of rounds can take their toll. Sets him up again, bang. Didn't really score with that. Not as solid as I thought it was when we called it originally on the replay. Okay, here we go, round five. Larry Holmes filled with confidence. Kenny Norton showing a little bit more concern. I think he said before the fight told me yesterday he's got plenty of, uh, of respect for Holmes. Doesn't particularly respect him as a human being, but has all the respect in the world as a boxer for Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes, of course, challenging the champion, had to respect him, but showing a little respect and new regard for him in the ring. Missed all those shots, but if he continues to throw them like that and Norton continues to come in, we're going to see somebody get down before this thing's over. We're in round five. Neither fighter visibly shaken. Neither fighter visibly hurt. Neither fighter has been cut. Nobody down. My name is Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us for this heavyweight championship fight. Larry Holmes, surprising to some, to the people inside boxing, not surprising at all. Kenny Norton has his hands full, the champion of the world, and the blue trunks facing him. 
all hand speed so far, and it's all been to the end. Oh, good right hand from the head of Larry Holmes. But that shows you that Holmes can take a punch, and that was a big question heading into this fight. Can he take a punch? I'd say that was a real good shot that Holmes took then. It does not visibly shake him at all, which will frustrate Kenny Norton. When you score punches like that, and it doesn't take anything out, then the left comes back. Two, three, four quick left hands, and a right follows up. Larry Holmes comes right back. So that shows you he can take a shot. The only time we could say that Norton didn't take a shot was in Caracas in 74 when Foreman knocked him out. But he's taking plenty of punishment from Ali. Good shots now, that jab. Oh, great, great boxing in here now by both of them. Just exchanging blows. Both of them looking for the up. Great shot by Larry Holmes. The right hand on the side of the head. Holmes scores again. Now they're standing just toe-to-toe -to -toe in the ring and just wailing away at each other. Left hand taken slightly. Both of them had the same idea at the same time. Let's fly with the right and cross them. Kenny has good hand speed for heavyweight, but Larry is so exceptional. In the corner of Larry Holmes yelling, move, Larry, move, stay away from him, slide to your left, keep moving, use those legs. But Larry wants to trade punches with him. One thing that I can, there he goes now. But listening to his corner, I was just going to say, this man takes direction. Now he's showing his style. Remember those tassels like that that Muhammad Ali wore the first time he met Joe Frazier after the layoff? I can see them now, up in the air, when he was sitting on his feet wearing the red trunks that night. Larry Holmes has them on. He's copied everything from Ali. He hasn't used his legs just as begun using it now. Larry has great foot, great legs. Educated legs, described by many educated boxing people. Well, another even round, I would have to say. Coming up to round six. That's right. Look to measure you tighten me up. People around ringside, you say, I don't believe we're coming up to round six, what a fast fight. All that means is one thing, that there's excitement out there that is keeping their interest. That's right, that's right, you know, now listen. So far, and I reiterate, this is unofficial at ringside, I have round one even, I have Larry Holmes winning round two, I have three even, I have Holmes winning round four, and I have five even. You just scoring close here, the ten point must, the three judges do the scoring and not the referee, by the way. We look at Larry Holmes, uh, at uh, rather Kenny Norton. Coming up to round six. People from the Norton camp say that he's been in the best shape of his life, been on a new diet. I don't know what difference that's going to make right now. All of that's by the boards, the preparation's complete. There is no tomorrow. It's all on the line right now. One of these fellows will not be champion, one will be. Belt is sitting idle with a WBC man right now. One of them will wear it out of here. Kenny Norton to the right. Holmes beating him to the punch inside. Larry Holmes, you can see it in his eyes, his great ring awareness. Great confident look like Kenny has more of that concerned, determined, plugger type look in his eyes. This is what they want Holmes to do. They want him to keep moving, cause problems. See the jab in the face of Norton all the time. This is what the young Ali used to do. And this is why so many people felt that Larry Holmes would take the championship from Ken Norton. Kenny's showing his determination as he comes right in, continues to press the fight. Larry Holmes is an in and out type of fighter. That left jab is really a punch. It's no jab. The right hand spins the head of Norton. Good round for Larry Holmes. Kenny getting a little puffy underneath the left eye. Holmes' face not visibly any marks. That jab continuing in the face of Norton. There it is again and again. Light blows but scoring. And Kenny came in that time. 
Norton caught him with a good, uh, rather, uh, Holmes caught him with a good body punch downstairs. Now Norton taking some leather to the head. There's that uppercut. Larry Holmes is very well aware that the uppercut is a key punch for him. Good shot thrown by Norton that time. Larry Holmes took a good shot, but he came right back. Larry's got to move a little bit more. Ken knows that he really tagged him. And surprisingly, to a man that has the real ring smarts of Larry Holmes, he's surprised he's not moving more. His corner, of course, is going to move, Larry, move. There he goes. Now he's back on his toes, doing what he does best, using his legs, sliding to his left. Larry slides to his right, and this is where Norton is awkward. style with the left foot in front and dragging his right foot. It's very difficult for him to move to his left. And that's what opens things up. A good, good round for both fighters. The early part of the round it certainly was Larry Holmes all the way, and then Norton scored a couple of real good shots. Let's watch this replay. We'll have a replay coming up, I'm sure. As we're... Here we go now. That's the jab, of course. You don't need me to tell you that, but that's the one that's getting through there a lot, causing the puffiness. Good right hand. And that's what I mean about Holmes being able to take a shot. As far as I'm concerned, they said he could take a shot, but he was untested at this point. There's the ice on the eye. As we mentioned to you in the last round, started getting puffy. The ice in the eye of Ken Norton. So it was uh, the type of uh, round, round six, that Holmes won the first part of it. And certainly Norton won the second part of it, so I would have to score it even. And again, my scoring is unofficial. <laughs> After the fight, Larry Holmes always says to me, gee, I thought I won a lot more rounds. And Larry, I'm not a judge. I'm an announcer. I do the best I can scoring. Yeah. Here we go again, round seven. Scheduled for 15 at stake, the World Heavyweight Championship. Kenny Norton holding the title, but it's on the line right now. And the instructions to Kenny Norton would be to try and cut him off in the corners. There's the jab in the face of Norton. Kenny doesn't have the mobility both ways that Larry Holmes has, but Larry hasn't been using it a tremendous amount in this fight. Larry's fighting more flat-footed than I've seen him fight before. And I'm sure his corner would like to see him use him more. Now there's some good movement there. A lot of people came out from eastern Pennsylvania to see Holmes, and a lot of people came over from California to Las Vegas to see Kenny Norton, the heavyweight champion. Kenny tries to work downstairs, and immediately the challenger, Holmes, ties him up. That's Holmes to the left of your screen. And and coming into the screen now, facing you, is Kenny Norton to the left now. There's the foot movement that the corner of Holmes wants him to use. To come in and out. Angelo Dundee, the great trainer, says, you'd like to see a guy that has that leg speed come in and out. Punch going away. Very few people could do it. Certainly Gene Tunney against Dempsey in that famous long count fight in Chicago made that famous. And then along came Ali who patented it, and now Larry Holmes is copying it. Holmes uh, is what I would call a master of avoiding shots, although he's been hit a couple of times. Watch him miss punches, watch him cause Norton to miss punches now, which is frustrating. When he's big and strong and such exceptional athletes as these guys are, and he can't control a thing, it can be very frustrating. Norton is a great competitor, as is Larry Holmes. This is what Larry should be doing. Norton comes in and scores with the head, though. Larry spins him around, showing his strength. Norton, for the first time, gave that glare back at him. Like, you're not controlling me, friend. A little more concern showing the face now of Holmes. Good left hook catches him. Watch Larry pick it up now here. When he's hitting, he usually tries to pick it up immediately to get that right back. 
Norton's hands are very busy, takes a lot of leather. Good combination that time by Kenny Norton. The bell sounds, ending the round number seven. Well. Times during the round when Holmes was exceptional, times during the round that Kenny Norton was exceptional. To be 100% honest with you, I can't make up my mind how to score this one, and if that's the case, I'm going to have to make it another fairly even round and lean a little bit towards Larry Holmes. Working on the left eye of Kenny Norton, which could become a factor later on down the line. Larry Holmes, of course, earned the shot at this man with a decision uh, which really put him in the high ranking and gained worldwide recognition when he completely controlled the fight against Ernie Shavers back in March. Holy so, Norton, here we go, round number eight. Now let's see if the pace changes or anything. Good right hand, good combination scored. Holmes has come on here in round eight. He's got that look back in his eyes now, the look of determination. He's got the concern look back in the eyes of Norton. Best series of punches thrown by Larry. Richard Jaquet again told me he wanted Larry to follow up, triple up, double up with those punches, which he didn't do to his best benefit against Ernie Shavers, even though he controlled that fight. But Norton is so game and such a great competitor, it's not easy to control him. Scores good inside. Guys do not like each other, and I think it's obvious by some of the stares you can see. Norton not quite the disciplined player. The arms flail a little bit more. Uh, Holmes has total body control inside all the time. Kenny's more apt to have that looping left and the looping right hand. And the quickness of the hands of Holmes shows inside. There's that looping hand, and then again the quickness inside. Everybody was yelling, oh yeah, like Norton did something there, but it was actually Holmes that beat him inside. The looping ha hand and arm. Now that was a good punch that time, thrown by Norton. Kenny Norton to the left. That shot scored too. Going by Ken again. So Larry gets on the bicycle now. Chris Larry's confusion is where is to its best advantage now, moving around. Wild is Kenny with the left, but scores a series of lefts there. Wild was he with the right again. Norton is forcing this fight much more than I thought he would. He's been the aggressor continually throughout the fight. That's how he was able to beat Jimmy Young here on aggressiveness. Norton looking for the opportunity to measure his man, but Holmes not giving him that opportunity as he continues to bounce away. This is one of the better rounds for Ken Norton, by the way. Holmes came out flailing in the first round. Good left hand in the face. Good right hand scored by Holmes that time. Those punches are landing. They've got to be taking their toll. Three quick lefts. Oh, good combination by the champion. Good combination. Good uppercut that time by Holmes. Kenny really wants him. He can taste it. He's going at him so hard. Larry Holmes says, take that if you want to taste some of that. All right. The referee, Mills Lane, has to separate them. The people like this one. I told you going into it, it would be one of the best, and it has been. That round has a go to Kenny Norton. We start the lane. So reiterate a bit back here as we go down the line. I had round one even. I had Holmes winning two. I had three even. I had four to Holmes. Five, six, and seven all even. And Kenny Norton, I gave him that one on the basis that he did score some pretty heavy blows during round number eight. Back in the sixth round, Norton a uh, little puffy on that eye that they're working on right now. Again in his corner, Bill Slayton, Bob Byron, those are the people. 
Slayton, of course, the 1977 Manager of the Year. You're the champ. You're the champ. Clear, sharp, right. $2 million, Kenny. Now we go over to Richard Giacchetti working on Larry Holmes. Holmes a real determined look on his face. Freddie Brown, one of the great ones in his corner, along with Bill Present. Here we go, round nine. Larry came out like this in round eight and scored three quick ones. Now let's see what he does with this one. He can't allow Norton to take command. People in the corner of Kenny Norton are yelling, get off first, get off first. And if he wants to win the fight, that's what he's got to do. Of course he wants to win the fight, but that's what he has to do to win it. The only thing that can stop the quicker hands of Larry Holmes is if a few of those heavy blows of Norton begin to land. That'll slow down Holmes in a hurry. Now Holmes say, keep him up. You couldn't read his lips there. I didn't hear him. I saw the same as you did. We're in round nine. This is scheduled for 15. Good shot by Norton that time. But again, the head of Holmes is, oh, another good right hand then. Holmes can take a shot. He's shown me something here. He can take a shot. Larry has been better with his combinations and that left jab in the face of Norton, but the heavier blows, I think, have been landed by Kenny Norton. Although it's hard to tell exactly how heavy because the way Holmes moves his head so quickly. That's the one thing you miss when you're watching on television. You can't tell the heaviness of the punches. But I'll tell you right now, these jabs are light. And I'll tell you when they get heavier by either man. That was a heavy jab. In fact, that was more than just a heavy jab. That was a punch. Larry Holmes now has that look back in his eye of the determination like he's looking for a shot to unload the right hand. And by the fact that he's circling to his left, I'll tell you it's coming very shortly. But Norton doesn't allow him to get it off. To the credit of Kenny Norton, the champion of the world. Holmes will circle left and try to get Norton leaning that way, then drop the right hand. That shows you the Ali type of style of Holmes there, the way he walked away from that. Jimmy Ellis was famous for that as well. Wild with the left. Holmes circling to his left, looking to hook to the left with his left and dropped the right hand. Norton Wilde with the right again. Kenny Norton, heavyweight champion of the world and wants to keep it. Lord knows he's waited long enough for a title. Ah, good shot that time by Larry Holmes. He's circling back to his right now. Oh, real good right hand scored by Kenny. Good shot. I tell you, Holmes can really take a shot because that was a good one. No bounce taken out of the legs of Holmes at all. Another good shot by Kenny Norton. Now Holmes wants to pick up the pace so this round doesn't get out of his hands. He's got to score a few more punches to keep. There's a good shot by Holmes. Scores downstairs. That one missing. Kenny has scored two real good shots in this round. There's the bell ending the round. Based on those heavy blows, I got to lean to Ken Norton in that one again. Although the accumulation of punches again, the scoring system and the positioning of the judges and all is what it's really coming down to. There's not a whale of a lot of difference in the scoring of any of these rounds. But the heaviest shots that I saw were from the hands of Kenny Norton, so I'm giving him round nine. Which means at this point in the fight, I have it scored dead even. Watch this short coming up by Kenny Norton. Watch him now. Keep an eye on this. Bang! What a shot that was. Many a, many a fighter would have been off his feet with that one. Still working on the corner now and in the left eye there of Kenny Norton. That right hand would have flattened many, many fellas. That answers the big question I mentioned a couple of times and I'll reiterate again that Larry Holmes can take a whale of a shot. Here's Kenny Norton. If Holmes is going to win, it'll be accumulation of combinations and punches. Uh, preferably from Holmes' viewpoint to that left eye. Try and shut it, then work to the other one. Holmes knows he's got to get something cooking here now because the fight is at a point where it could take a turn there. Kenny's scoring more shots to the face now. That one did not score, by the way. Larry showing a little bit more respect. Now, this also is a point where... 
course here again, Larry gets on his bicycle. We're getting into the 10th round now, a territory that Larry Holmes doesn't know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, doesn't know, hasn't been there. Kenny Norton's been there many, many times. There's tremendous staying power. Although the people that handle Larry Holmes tell me he's got all the strength he needs to go 15. He's had some 200 rounds of boxing in preparation for this. And I'm sure he's done 15 and 20 many times in preparing for it. But Kenny Norton in the true test for the title has been there before. Larry's not throwing too many punches right now. Kenny seems to have scored a couple here in this round. Now I, I see that a little more concerned look at the face of Holmes. The determined, relentless look on the face of Norton. He just scored there a pretty good right hand. Larry's got to get a little more offensive minded now. Norton looking real strong here. Norton's jab at Chris Bettine. There's the great quickness in the head of Larry Holmes. The two jabs out there by Norton. And again, Norton has good hand speed, but it doesn't look as great because Holmes is exceptional hand speed. It's a right hand. That's what I mean about exceptional hand speed. That one just snuck in there, spun the head. Norton could take a shot, too. The only time that he couldn't was against the wild right hand of George Foreman in Caracas. And uh, a few heads of cattle that couldn't take a shot like that. This was a man. Larry Holmes and Kenny Norton. That's stake the heavyweight championship of the world. Holmes has kind of gone on a defensive uh, maneuver here. Round 10. And he scores with that left hand. Larry really hasn't scored too much in this round at all. Might be a place where Larry's just trying to save a little bit of energy and let Holmes, let uh, Rutherford Norton kind of smoke himself out a bit. To give that round again to Kenny Norton. So now with, uh, and again I reiterate that this is only unofficial scoring by me, I have the last three rounds in favor of Ken Norton, which puts him slightly out in front in the fight. And my scoring is anywhere as near accurate, but again, the vantage point of the judges who are doing all the scoring. Not the referee, but the judges do the scoring here. Can give a different viewpoint, so if you went in a couple of points of each other at any time, it doesn't mean a heck of a lot. Norton with that determined look in his face. We're coming up to round 11. Now we enter a territory that Holmes hasn't been to except for a couple of times. Shavers in 12. Let's see if Norton tries to really maintain what he started to do back in round 8. He continued through 9 and 10. Or Holmes was trying to coast a little bit and will come back and take command. An interesting point in the fight now. Norton known for stamina, can go the distance, had vicious battles with Ali over the distance. Vicious battle with Jimmy Young over the distance. Holmes is not as aggressive as he was early in the fight. He's backpedaling, backpedaling, hitting while he's going away. If he wants to regain the command that I thought he had early in the fight, he's going to have to start scoring some more punches. That's what he likes to do, make Norton look awkward, catch him off balance and try to drop him. Again, neither fighter has been cut, neither fighter has been down. We're in round 11. Heavyweight championship of the world at stake. People now are suddenly yelling for Norton. One thing the fans like is the aggressiveness. Ken has not taken too many steps back. He's been constantly after Holmes all the time. the lightning left. Now they're yelling for Larry. They're yelling that, like the Ali chant, it's the Larry, Larry that you hear. 
which gives him a little extra psych and gets his something pumped up there anyway. You see that enthusiasm back in his face as he feels the crowd sway to his side. It's probably a split crowd. Norton so close. And of course, people living so close, I should say, from San Diego, California, living in LA. A lot of people over here to see him win. And of course, Holmes is a big crowd out from Eastern Pennsylvania. That he's the underdog, and people like the dog. That looked a lot better than it really was. But Larry has got to get more aggressive. Not just scoring the punches. Larry is fighting defensively now. Earlier, we had a big upset for the same reason. Jimmy Young lost to Jaws Ocasio because he wasn't aggressive. Shouldn't allow himself to get on the ropes. Norton's too strong for this sort of thing. And that's why. Took a good shot that time. Oh, Norton's scoring more punches again in round. Uh, rather, really Norton's scoring more. We'll be approaching the 12th round now. We go back to, well, now we're over the corner of Holmes, and I'm sure Giacchetti is telling him, hey, man, we got to do something here now. You let those last few rounds slip away. I've got the last four rounds going to Kenny Norton. He began to take the man. I wasn't quite sure how to score the eighth round, to be honest with you. And certainly in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh, Norton has definitely landed more punches as Larry's gone strictly defensive. You hear them yelling, Norton, Norton, Norton now. It's a split crowd here. No matter who wins, they're all going to be for the champion when the bell sounds in round 15, unless there's a surprising knockout here. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. This is the 11th and 12th. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Round 12. Now let's see if he takes the direction of Richie Giacchetti. Does Larry Holmes. Norton doesn't want to let Holmes have the pace back of the fight. He's kind of taking control the last couple of rounds anyway. Holmes has got to become more aggressive. That's what's at stake. And he's head hunting. Strong. Awfully strong. Now Larry's keeping him off again, but that time Norton scores again. Norton continues to force the fight. Which is not good for Larry Holmes. But it's Larry's style. By this time, Larry should be trying to maintain a little bit more control of the fight, which he's not doing at this particular moment. Larry just ducked away from that wild round. Man. Nothing punishing, though. See the look of concern in the face of Larry Holmes now? We didn't see that in the early rounds. He's realizing he's struggling a bit. Norton's punches look awfully strong, awfully powerful. Larry showing his quickness again. Holmes to the right, Norton to the left. Norton continue the aggressive, scoring to the head of Holmes. One thing we expected to see Larry do a little bit more is double up more. He's not doubling with the left hand, and he's not throwing his right hardly at all. The right hand scored pretty good that time, and again. Left eye of Kenny Norton is really swollen now. Larry Holmes looks like he might be slightly arm weary now. The punches are not quite as crisp as they were before, and Norton is looking stronger all the time. Left hookers look better in this fight than I've seen him against a lot of fellas. 
timing of Larry is slightly off now in comparison to the early rounds. The fatigue is set in a bit by both fighters. There's a good shot. Larry Holmes has got to try and pick up the pace a little bit more. He's trying a little bit more even than the rest, but the aggressiveness of Norton scoring again. Well, the bell ends round 12 for the first time. We see fatigue set in to both fighters. A fairly even round. Score that one even. Scored as we look to the corner once again of Kenny Norton. There's 128, 126 unofficially out in front is Ken Norton. We have three rounds to go, which means that Larry Holmes must win two out of three to have any shot. And he must win the last round convincingly if he's to take this title away from Ken Norton. Norton's been involved in close decisions. Close decisions he's won against Jimmy Young. Close decisions he's lost against Muhammad Ali. He's been victimized one way and gifted another way. Larry Holmes is undefeated. That's on the line. He said he should stay away early. That was their fight plan, but now he's got to become more aggressive. He's got to go after Norton and take the fight to him. Let's see if he can or if Norton will continue the aggressor. Holmes has a good look back in his eye now. The rest bit in between rounds there did him some good. I can see that alert look in his eye again. But he's got to be aggressive. He's not starting out that way in this round. The better combinations in the fight have been scored by Holmes. The heavier punches, the outstanding punches have been scored by Norton. Fight very even. I have Kenny Norton slightly out in front, ever so slight. Holmes looking better in this round, and he's got to. He's got to take a little bit more command, though. He's counter punching too much. He's got to come after him a bit more. Kenny hasn't scored anything in this round at all. Larry scored some short jabs, keeping him off, which he's got to do. But he's got to use that right hand and double up with the left. Norton Wiley, and there's a cute right hand in there, sneaky right hand. There's a good shot now. Fatigue is causing Larry's timing to be just ever so slightly off, but he's still scoring more punches now. This is what he's got to do. Keep Norton off of the left and pick his shots. Use the right hand more. Now it looks like a better Larry Holmes. All right, another good shot by Larry Holmes. Real good shot by Holmes that time. Spins ahead of Norton. Now Larry's taking the fight back to him, although he backs up. Backing up doesn't mean anything because he is one of the very few heavyweights in history that can hit going away. Good round shaping up for Larry Holmes. Good right hand again. Maybe those breathing rounds are what he needed to keep himself going for the late rounds and save himself a bit. Scoring now, real good punches. While Norton did lace out there with a couple of lefts, there was nothing behind them. Holmes' punches look much heavier in round 13 here. Another good shot. Larry is really scoring the heavier shots now in round 13. Kenny missing. Larry's got to stay off of those ropes. Use his legs a little bit more. The knees of Norton look a little bit jellied like now. Another good shot there. His right hands are taking the toll of Norton. He's got him staggered, I believe. He's got him scoring good combinations. The right hand is taking its toll on Norton. Larry hits him again, again. Big round for Larry Holmes. Both fellas slightly on worry, but Holmes is really labeling Norton in this round. Larry taking the vision away with the left hand and then dropping the right hand. Holmes continues to score with the right. He's got Norton wobbly again, taking another shot. He scored at least 10 good right hands. Big, big round for Larry Holmes. Big round. And he needed it. And you can see when that water comes from the corner, they know it. Larry Holmes unable to tumble Norton to the canvas. Norton can take a shot. He can take a whale of a shot. Oh, 
I'm scoring that round 10-8 because more heavy punches were scored than any other round. At least 10 by Larry Holmes. I have the fight dead even right now. the heaviness of the shot. Watch the head. Not there. Keep your eye peeled. Not yet. You'll see it when it comes. Bang. No, no big deal there either. Hang on now. Now suddenly the crowd is yelling live here, Larry, Larry, but let's watch this. Well, we didn't really get to see any of the real heavy shots there. But what's more important is round 14, and again, I have the fight dead even right now. We're in round 14. 15 round championship fight. Neither fighter has been down. Norton slightly wobbly in the 13th round. Norton had been taken complete command from the 8th to the 11th. Ball was even. Holmes must continue because the fight is very close. Again, that scoring that I have even is unofficial. The judges do the scoring here. I have nothing to do with it. Makes Norton look awkward, does Holmes, which is frustrating. Larry has a real alert look back in his face, even though Norton looks to be really much more aggressive now. Punches don't seem to have the steam that they had earlier. His fatigue has caused him to be awkward. Larry Holmes is going to pick up the pace a bit, though. I was looking at fighter's eyes. You can almost tell how he's feeling right now. Norton's eyes, he looks like he's really wobbly now. Timing is gone. Not completely, because Larry Holmes is fatigued as well, but not as bad. Larry beats him to the punch, counter-punching there. Pushes him off the ropes. You can see Norton's legs are rubbery, his knees. He has very little bounce left in his knees. He's almost... I won't say staggering, but his legs are definitely, I don't even want to say the word gone, but his legs are sh showing more fatigue than home, to put it that way. Good right hand still, but it had no effect at all on home. A lot of parring inside here, nothing to any avail or any advantage of either fighter on this inside stuff. Holmes has got to step back and take longer shots now. Holmes looks to be more fresh to me right now. But Norton has the heart of a champ coming in all the time. Larry just stepped back, and I almost have to take a sigh with him to catch your breath. Exchanged right hands that time. Is Larry on the move? This is what he should continue to do. He scores with an uppercut and scores again. Kenny Norton doesn't back up, though, continues to pour on. He knows how important it is to be aggressive. Throws a good shot to the head of Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes taking some shots here now. Good round for Kenny Norton. Larry's got to get out of that corner. Kenny's starting to score some punches here. Kenny trying to take command of this round. Larry does not want him to do it, needless to say. Well, in. It's a very difficult round to score, but I almost have to give it to Kenny Norton. And throughout the round, Holmes looked fresher to me, but Norton scored more punches. Larry fought defensively. I have it scored unofficially again to recap because we're heading to the 15th round. I had the first round even. I had round two for Holmes, three even, four for Holmes. Five, six, and seven even. Then Norton took command in the eighth round for four rounds. Eight, nine, 10, 11. I had 12 even. 13 was a very, very strong round for Larry Holmes, but he did not continue it slightly by the fact that he was more aggressive in the 14th round. I gave it to Norton. Again, my scoring is unofficially. And again, it's only one point apart going to 15. This should be one whale of a finish. All the marbles on the line and millions of dollars to boot. Here we go. Both fighters need a big round. The 15th round of the world heavyweight title is on the line right now. Very important for both men to win round 15. This is when you find out who has the heart and who is the 
champion right now. Gordon continues to be the aggressor. Larry should not allow this. Gordon continues to come on. They're both fighting for their lives. Good shots by Holmes, Gordon. Just missing that one. Gordon scores a looping right in that time. Larry cannot let it continue like this, or he's going to lose the fight. It's that close, in my opinion. Larry has that alert look back, like he's just waiting for about halfway through the round, and then he's going to explode. Let Norton punch himself out in the early going. And that's what Kenny is scoring a bit, though. Got bounces the head back to Larry Holmes. Larry misses. Both fighters very, very tired. First time that Holmes has gone this far. Larry has got to explode here if he's going to win this fight. He's got to just get a second win and explode. And the way he's doing it now, North is taking command of the 15th round. At least halfway through now, round 15. If it continues like this, it's in the hands of the judges. It's too close for me to score. Unless Holmes explodes here. Kenny Norton taking it to Larry. Larry is fighting back really now. This is what he has to do. See if he's got enough left to take the champ out. Scores with the right hand. The champ comes back. Comes back and scores a real good shot to the head of Holmes. Another good shot. Takes the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Larry Holmes. Kenny Norton doing what he has to do to win. Scoring again. It's a big round for Kenny Norton, I'm afraid. In the waiting moments now of the round, Larry is fighting desperately to stay in there, fighting with everything he has. Scores good with a shot to the head of Kenny Norton. Again to the head of Norton. This has been a great boxing show. Both fighters courageous as Holmes comes back. Scores a good shot. He's got no to trouble. Yes. He's got to follow up. Uppercut scores. Running out of time, and that's it. It's all over. Well, Holmes put on a last second flurry. It's going to be very, very close. Too close for me to call. Quickly a split decision, we don't know. Unofficially, I personally think Norton won the last round. We'll give him the fight. We'll switch over to our handheld mic and go into the ring now. Obviously, Holmes people think he has won the fight. With me is Jose Suleiman. Jose, could you venture to guess who's won this fight? No, but I'm very proud of all of him. What fight? I mean, the best fight that I have seen in many, many years. Jose, I've broadcast over 50 championship fights, and I can't recall a better fight showing the heart. Either one of these guys could be champion in my book. I believe exactly the same thing. This is one of the greatest fighters that I have ever seen in my life. That's Jose Suleiman, the president of the World Boxing Council. We will attempt to speak with both fighters. Obviously, the corner of Holmes and the people on Holmes' side feel he has won the title. Kenny Norton finished very strong. Too close for me to call. We will attempt to talk to the fighters. No. It's still too difficult to be able to call it. The people in Holmes' side feel he has, he has won the title. 
Here comes the decision now. Let's listen. We have a split decision. It's a split decision. A split decision. The score is 143, 142. Holmes. One judge, 143, 142. Holmes. One point separating the fighters with that judge. Scores 143, 142. Norton. 143, 142. Norton. It all depends on the final judge. No way. Scores it 143, 142 for the new. Glory Holmes has done it. Of all time. Yes, it is. I predicted that it would be one comparable to the thrill in Manila, one that was fought like Ali and Frazier number three. It was done this time, and I feel that I feel that had Larry Holmes did his work, he did his work well. You can see it was a pick em fight. It could have been an either or all the way. Holmes came through. I'm very proud and thankful because I know that I started this kid out and brought him along, and he shows what a helping hand can do to a ghetto kid who may may be going the wrong way and if you pull him in someone gives some consideration some love some compassion and understanding they can rise from the squad of the ashes of the phoenix to the heavyweight champion of the world i'm indeed very i happy. know how proud you are don congratulations on a great promotion and a great new uh, heavyweight champion of the world thank you thank you okay now we're going to attempt to talk to the champion don see if you can help me get the champion will you oh. Carl, see if we can get the champ will you don king is going to attempt to get the champion over here for us I'm going to attempt to get the champ over here. Very disappointing to Kenny Norton. And, of course, the people in the corner of Larry Holmes had no doubt from the way they reacted when we came in. We're still attempting to get to the champion, the new champion of the world. We're still waiting to get to the champ, as you can see, as with all heavyweight championship fights, pandemonium in the ring. Larry Holmes is on his way over. We're going to try and get to him again. Don't know if we can or not. I'm afraid Larry's slipping away. We're still attempting it again there, and of course, with the situation in the ring, I don't think we'll be able to get to him. Trying to slide down the way. Okay, so that's the situation here. A big major upset in the fight where Jaws Ocasio upset Jimmy Young, and then of course, this one would have to be considered an upset by the betting anyway. A tremendous fight for Larry Holmes, who is now the new heavyweight champion of the world. It was a great fight, no question about fight, that. Larry. And that's all we can really tell you from here. There's a lot of people we want to thank. We don't have time to do it. So we'll just thank everybody that was involved in the telecast. Thank everybody here at Caesars World. Bob Sheridan telling you one final time, we do have a new heavyweight champion of the world. His name is Larry Holmes. Bob Sheridan, so long for now.